Good evening, folks. News going on YouTube tonight due to link overload. Quick notes and context begins as a good site to check out if you are into the sun and climate and cycles. How about the foundation for the study of cycles? We're going to be spending some time there. CO2 continues rising faster and faster. And yes, folks, we've still had 20 years of failed warming predictions and record-breaking cold for the last six months. In fact, our long-held position that global warming is really climate extremes got a nice boost from Florida State showing the non-uniformity of warming and even that the cooling we've told you about for the last two years is legit. Lastly, on the notes, it appears that our orbital variation is also highly active in the climate game. We're actually supposed to be in for a thousand years of cooling based on the current orbital patterns. And what the authors consider as human-induced warming recently is likely the solar forcing we showed in our speech from the conference in March the variable sun and its effects on Earth. Meanwhile, the solar wind telemetry at Earth shows calm conditions tonight. Sensitive fluxes show space weather quiet. The sun popped more M and high C flares today. Interestingly, they are mostly from the departing sunspot groups rather than these monsters incoming. Advanced watchers try to spot any deltas and watch for the southern trailers heading in now. As for the coronal holes, Watch that northern Earth-facing group. We have 30 to 50% of the power we had last night only, so the earthquake index remains in B range. Calm disk, those pops on the right ramping the Uyen factors. Be safe, everyone.